Hi guys, guys. we're, we're the, the Robinson, Robinson twins. twins. I'm Bob. And I'm Rick. And we are at South Lake Tahoe at the southern end of Lake Tahoe on the border between California and Nevada. And we've been meaning to do this uh, experiment for some time where we come to the lake and prove that it has curvature over a watery surface over a long distance. Over a long distance. So, off in the distance, the other shore, the north shore is 19 and a half miles away from this shore. And we've just went from the north shore first, took pictures of the area, scouted it out. And actually we scouted it out on Google Earth first so we knew what we were gonna be looking for. So we looked for a particular landmark that we might be able to see from this shore. And once we got here, we looked for it and sure enough, we found it. We were motivated to make the observation now because of this video we saw on January 6, 2025 on YouTube from MC Toon inviting people to come to Lake Tahoe to make an observation from the south shore to the north shore to see if the water would appear flat or if it would follow the curvature of the earth. He was responding to a $5,000 bet from someone who claimed it would be flat. We'll link to MC Toon's videos in our description. We used Google Earth to make plans. Uh, what we were going to do first is come in from the North Shore and look for State Line Point, which is this point of land on the border between California and Nevada. There's a dock near there, and we were going to take a look at it and scout it out and take pictures. Then we would travel down the east side of Lake Tahoe to the South Shore, where there's a dock near Camp Richardson, and see how much of the North Shore we could see from there. Closer examination of State Line Point using Google Earth revealed Powerboat Beach, which is where the dock was located, and another landmark we're both familiar with, the Calneva Lodge on the Nevada side of the California-Nevada border. The Calneva Lodge has been closed since 2019 and it's currently undergoing rehabilitation. We accessed Powerboat Beach by coming down these stairs after parking on the street. The dock we wanted was right there, but it was private and under video surveillance, and there was a $500 fine, so we just stayed on the beach. I made a point of checking out what else was around the dock, including the trees. There were ponderosa pine, incense cedar, and quaking aspen, some of which were 56 feet or 17 meters tall. Then we traveled east around Crystal Bay and ended up at Memorial Point, so we could take a picture of State Line Point from the east. So here's a picture I took of State Line Point using my smartphone from Memorial Point. Here's one I took with my power shot, and I did a zoom in and got an even closer shot. So you can clearly see the Calneva Lodge from this side of the lake. We determined the lake level was at 6,227 feet elevation, and the top of the Calneva Lodge building was at 6,460 feet, a difference of 233 feet. Using an online earth curve calculator, we figured 166 feet would be hidden over the 19 and a half mile distance from the south shore, leaving 67 feet still visible. So we continued down the east side of the lake to the south shore at Camp Richardson to find the dock to make our observations from. Here's what the dock near Camp Richardson looked like on Google Earth. When we got there, we found that the end was closed, but we could still use the deck closer to shore to make our observations from. Okay, we're at Camp Richardson, the dock for the coordinates for the south end of Lake Tahoe. And we believe we are seeing across to the north end of the lake to the Calneva Lodge. We think that spot there is the Calneva Lodge building. Ten stories high. We are definitely not seeing the whole building which would be the case if the earth were flat. We're only seeing like the top half or so. We took this picture using a smartphone through the Spotting Scope's 45 power lens. Clearly we're only seeing the top half of the building, a 10 story building, mind you, and it's still above the lake level from its base. So the calculations of how much be hidden and how much was showing looked pretty accurate. Here's a side view of the County of Lodge from the east and how much we saw through the spotting scope. Here's a picture we took through the lens of a 50 power cannon power shot. The waves on that day were less than a foot high and you can see only the top half of a 10 story building and the base of that building is already 100 feet or more above the lake level. So the lake is not flat. We confirmed curvature. 
Thanks for watching. Now be sure to like and subscribe. And we did get to meet Michael Toon and his wife Tina on January 11th. We had spent the day together talking about science and taking some measurements of the Earth. It was a good day.